Thank you very much for joining us today. Today, we're gonna to talk about how to adjust accounts payable invoices in Sage 100 Cloud. Let's take a look at our agenda. So we have a relatively short agenda here. We're going to talk about adjusting accounts payable invoices. And in that, we're going to discuss how to put an invoice on hold or take it off of hold. But we're also gonna discuss how to change the balance of the invoice and also how to recode the invoice to a different general ledger account number or to a different job. Let's start by showing you how to put an invoice on payment hold. So here we are in Sage 100. I'm going to go into the accounts payable module, go to invoice data entry, and we'll create a batch. Now to adjust invoices, as you're entering the invoice here, you're going to enter or select the vendor, and then you're gonna put the invoice number in. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select the vendor airway property, and I'm gonna type in an invoice number that exists. And if I've done things correctly, I should see this window. So this invoice is on file. And as you can see here, we could just put this invoice on hold. So we can just check the box. We could also specify that we want to generate a separate check for this invoice. So we could do that as well. But let's just put this invoice on hold. So I'm just gonna check the box and click OK. Now I'm gonna pop over to the vendor here and go to the invoices tab. And you can see that invoice is on hold. So there is no register that has to be updated to do this. All you have to do is check the box and click OK, and it puts the invoice on payment hold. The converse is also true. If I go back into invoice adjustment entry and have the window pop up, you'll see that the checkbox is checked. And if I wanna take it off of hold, I just cleared the checkbox. The next thing we're gonna talk about is how to change the balance on an invoice. The invoice may have been entered in accounts payable and there might have been an error that was made and we don't wanna create another invoice. We just wanna change the balance of this particular invoice. So once again, in Sage 100, I'm going to go to accounts payable invoice data entry. I'll create my batch. I'll select or enter my vendor and I will enter the invoice number. If I've done things correctly, once again, it pops up the window. Notice this is an invoice that's on hold. But now we're going to make a financial adjustment to this invoice. So we're going to hit the adjust button, which will call up the original invoice and add some information to our screen. So first of all, it brings up the terms and things like that. So you can also adjust the due date of an invoice through this method, those kinds of things. But you can see the invoice balance here is $1,600. And we've decided that that balance needs to be $2,000. So we're going to add $400 to this invoice. And we do that by putting in $400 as our adjustment amount. So if we're increasing the balance of the invoice, the amount of dollars that are entered here would be positive. If we're decreasing the amount that is owed on this invoice, we can enter in a negative adjustment amount. So as another example, let's say that we determined that this invoice shouldn't have been entered at all and we've decided that we're not gonna pay them because we don't owe them the money and we just wanna get rid of the invoice. Well, I could adjust the invoice with a negative amount of $1,000 or $1,600 to get the balance down to zero. So whatever it is that you wanna do here. So now we're gonna add the $400 and we're gonna to go to the lines and like any other accounts payable invoice, it's just gonna ask us what general ledger account number we wish to post that to and we can choose whatever GL account number to post the $400 to. If we entered in a negative, we would distribute that amount to one or more different GL account numbers as well. The next thing we're gonna look at is recoding the invoice to a different GL or to a job. Here I am back in the invoice that we were just looking at a moment ago. 
And this was a simple example. We we're just adding $400 to the invoice. But I'm gonna make a change here since I have this window open, just as another example here. I'm gonna change the adjustment amount to zero, which means we're actually not changing the balance of this invoice. The balance is going to remain $1,600. But I know that this invoice was coded to the wrong general ledger account number. So what I can do here is I can change the account number that it was originally coded to. And I'm just gonna say that was account number 500. And I'm gonna put in a minus $1,600. Then I'm gonna to go to the next line and put in the correct GL account number. Find our rent account. Okay, and then plus $1,600. So long as our total matches our adjustment amount, we're perfectly fine. So when I update this adjustment, it's going to credit the 500 account and then debit the 5,500 account with no posting at all to accounts payable and no change to the amount that's owed on this invoice. I'm going to give you another example here where we're going to recode an invoice to a job-related invoice. This company has job costs, and I'm going to show you how you can adjust postings to jobs as well through an accounts payable invoice. So once again, I'll go into accounts payable and invoice data entry. I'll create a batch, select my vendor, and put in the invoice number. And get my screen that tells me that this invoice is already on file and push the adjust button. Now in this example, once again, I'm not gonna change the invoice balance. All I'm going to do here is change where the invoice was coded. So if I go to the lines, you can see in this case, because I'm in a company that's using job costs, I can select the job number. I can select the cost code. And I can select the cost type. And I can put in the minus amount that I wanna take off of that. And I can replace that with, let's just make this up and call this labor. And the same thing is true as when we're recoding an invoice to different GL account numbers, as long as my total matches my adjustment amount, I'm perfectly fine. So in this example, we've taken dollars off of a particular job, a particular cost code and cost type and put dollars on could be the same job, the same cost code, different cost type, or any of the differences. Different job, different cost code, different cost type, whatever it is that you need to do here to correct the problem that was entered on an invoice previously. This is a very easy way to move the dollars away from the incorrect job and cost code and cost type to the correct job, cost code, cost type. So to recap, we talked about using invoice data entry to adjust accounts payable invoices by putting invoices on hold or taking invoices off of hold. But we also talked about how to change the balance of an invoice in case the invoice was entered incorrectly, or in some examples, maybe the invoice shouldn't have been entered at all, and the adjustment amount would be negative to bring the balance of the invoice to zero. But we also talked about doing a zero dollar adjustment amount on the invoice, in which case we can reclassify the posting to different GL account numbers or to different jobs, cost codes, and cost types. Thank you very much for joining us today. We'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe to our channel and to our user group. You can see the information on your screen. And once again, we thank you very much for your time.